Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 35 of this video series. In this session, we'll see how to create a master calendar if the data has a date field in it. Okay, so let's quickly jump into the Click View script so that we can see how does it uh, being created in Click View. So here I have a table uh, which has information about the orders of a store and here we have the order date in it so now what i'm going to do is i need sales of uh, these orders by month by year by month year by quarter so in that case we need to have the month month year quarter fields in our data as we do not have that here we can create them using the concept called master calendar in click view so it's so simple it's not complex as people discuss it let's quickly jump into um, creation of master calendar so usually we have some dates in this order date field so the date should i mean the date will be starting with some date which we call as min date and end with some date we call that as max date so let's extract min and maximum date and then we are going to generate the dates in between min and max dates so i'll be creating a new tab and i'll name it as master calendar and then i'll be loading min date usually min of uh, here we have the field order date right so let's take min and maximum dates from this table so the orders table so min of order date i'll be naming this field as a min date and then let's extract max date from the same field so i'll name the resultant of this function as max date and, the, and we will be doing a resident load to extract the min and max date from the uh, field, uh, from, from orders table. Orders is the table. Right, so now we have extracted min and max date. Let's reload the So let's reload this, then we'll see Control T. If we go there, you can find min date and maximum date in number format. Let's convert them into min and maximum dates. Sorry, uh, in the date format. So equals to date of min date and uh, put some format. I'll go with DD, MMM, and four wise. Let's close the colon okay so now we are getting minimum date let's extract a max date so it's just for cross-checking whether the min and maximum dates are being extracted properly or not just usually it's work fine so I'm just so the max date is 30th June 2015 and the min date is 1st Jan 2015 so we are uh, using min date and max date which were extracted from the original table let's do one thing let's take the dates from the original table itself so here we will be putting uh, min of order date so that we can get the same date is in here let's check the max date as well So max of order date. So the same date is coming. So the dates that are being extracted uh, through this table for min and max date are right. So now what we're going to do is we, we are going to generate dates in between min and max date, which includes min and max dates too. Okay, so that will get a proper calendar 
with min and maximum date. If any uh, dates were being missed in the data, so if, even we can uh, show the blank values or else uh, the time continuous time series in the front end. Okay, so let's see how to uh, generate dates in between min date and max date. Okay, so here if you see the min date is in number with five digits and max date is also a number. So if you could have able to add a value to this min date until it reaches to the max date, then that is going to be a series of values. So we can achieve this through the preceding load concept with iteration number function. So how can we do that? So so the preceding load executes from bottom to top. First, the main table will be executed and preceded by the sub table. So here load and I'll put date of let's take first min date min date uh, here we have the min date min date and then add iteration number so this iteration number will add uh, incremental value of one row by row so in the first row the iteration number would be one and the second row the iteration number would be two so and then it follows okay if you use iteration number with while you can get uh, the desired results and as the iteration number is starting with one and uh, we want to consider min date in our dates so we'll be putting minus one so here iteration number is one and minus one it will be zero so that our min date will be included so i'll uh, set the date format for this number so date of and the format which i am interested uh, to have is dd and mmm and then y y y y four y's and i'll put this as uh, order date right so if we need the other ones suppose if you need month year so you you can just put date of month year right so just give month as a month year right if you need year you can just keep year in here as year if you're looking for a quarter so you can put uh, the month divided by four and we will be taking seal of this one so seal will take c e i l And we will add Q to this one, Q as a uh, just a character. So, and I'll make this as quarter. So, this has this loop has to be run till it meets the maximum date. So, here just copy this. So, our mean date plus iteration number minus one is less than or equals to max date then we are going to stop the loop execution and for this process for continuing this process until we meet this condition we should have while okay so let's put while in here Let's name this as master calendar. Reload it. Uh, 
if you see we have the master calendar table now and this has order date in the format month year year and we are getting a wrong number in quarter because it is giving wrong so let's try with month num So now you can see it is giving us right quarter. So this is how you can uh, create the master calendar. And um, here I'm doing the uh, preceding load immediately. And few people, what they will uh, do is they'll just generate the date here, and then they'll do the preceding load on top of this. So uh, it'll work the same way uh, as well. There is no problem uh, in that. Suppose if you wish to have uh, uh, link with your data and you just simply put this like the number like this and uh, uh, give the name which is similar to that the name which is there in your table so that it will uh, create the proper relation with the table so that you can use your uh, let's see how the format of order is here so the order date format is in date format. Let's convert that into a number so that we can uh, link that properly. So I'll make it as num as So we have this number and number and number the keys they'll match uh, fine so this is how you can create the master calendar so that's all for the session thanks for watching the video please subscribe